hello everyone welcome back my youtube channel salesforce so this is rohit and today i'm going to show you how to download current web page in pdf format via lwc okay so please keep in touch and please watch this video until end because it's a very interesting for us okay so please subscribe my youtube channel for more updates regarding new releases salesforce releases and all the new stuffs so please watch this video until end so let's get it started without any further delay so here you can see the title of my uh, this uh, um, session like uh, download current web page in pdf format via lwc so how to do that suppose let's say i have one application page or any record page let's say this one i have one application page this one okay and we have lots of component under in it let's say this is the one component here here to here this is another component here to here right also you can see in top of these things we have divided this page in two parts right so this is the one component this is the another component this is the another another here this is the a number of component you can use it use it here so based on your need so you can use right so here like uh, here so how to write our component as a like uh, current page let's say this is our application page let's say this is the app page for example purpose here this is a app page so under this page i want to create one button here anywhere as you want and based on that button click i want to download this whole web page into the pdf format so how to provide this pdf format i will show you the predefined functionality under the js javascript so let me open my vs code and let's get started with code okay so here you can see this is my vs code right so first of all you have to create your lwc component so if you don't know about what is vs code lwc so you can watch my previous video and previous play playlist so it's easy to understand each and every things under lwc so i already created one playlist under my channel so you can go ahead you can check it out okay so here you can see like this is the vs code id you know very well integrated development environment so how to create new component so you can create new component based on your command shift p or com com based on your command so control shift p and here you can see here you can see like create lightning web component just click this create lightning web component and it's asking like enter your component name so you know very well it's always like as a camel case right so first letter should be as a small in the lwc naming convention you know very well okay so here let me add let, let's say uh, pdf download something like that pdf download so my component name is pdf download so just click this one hit the, this is the default directory you can see like force hyphen app and then this is the uh, default directory if you want to change your own directory so you can choose it but always best practice just follow this syntax and this path okay so here you can see my component is created now so this component having lots of things what is i will show you here so this is the component right so under the default folder we have lots of uh, things under here let's say lwc under the lwc you can see different types of um, all component here so my component name is like pdf download so if you already know about these all things like how to create that so it's a automatic three files automatic come here one is html js and metadata file just click this html js file and metadata because i need this file that's why okay if you want to add some css file so you can add with the help of your uh, component name that is called pdf download dot css you can create this file as well right so how to do that first of all uh, first of all we have to write some html markup language okay let's say card so i have a card okay like uh, let me add the card here and this is the card right under this card here let me do that one thing for you let's say title like pdf download okay i don't want to take all the things from here to here just delete that and under here in this card let me add one lwc button that is related to my event so lwc button i want to create this lwc button and this is a natural or brand based on your need you can take this variant and label name download web page okay like download web page 
save it and also you can see look one handler so handler name is you can see here like handle click okay just copy this handle click and you can define this handle click under the js file because this is the javascript file so we can perform our logic under js file so here you can see handle click i want to perform this handle click method under here and we have already defined and we have already know about the javascript right so what is the window is a property under the um, browser uh, navigations or browser things so if you don't know so you can check out that uh, javascript course or javascript reference under the um, any particular website you can see these all things right so let's say first of all you have to define like windows okay so this is a predefined property under the um, window and here you can see like window dot and you have to write one predefined function that is called print so this is a predefined function here right and now after that you have to close this this is a single line of code okay and after that you have to use it where we can use this one so you can see here i already created one on click method here and after that you can see under the js file like handle click and under the handle click you can see like window dot print this is a single line of code and you can print your whole web page with the help of uh, lwc component as a pdf okay so how to do that just save it and it's time to do what so first of all you have to change the metadata file so is expose always true if you want to expose this component in outside or mm, with the same org or without without any same org or another org so based on your need so you can configure this one right then we have targets so we have lots of target you can see like record page app page home page right so based on your need so you can choose that so just let me save this and let me deploy this component so let me deploy how to deploy just click that folder name right click on that folder name and here you can see like deploy source to org so just deploy this source to org and after some time it's showing me here like successfully deploy or not right so here is some process is going on okay and here after some time you can see like successfully deployed right so how to open my org so you can op so you can open your org with the help of this browser symbols just click this browser and now you can see like open default org so it's open me my default org and it will be take some few seconds and you can see after that these uh, all the processes going on right so you can see these all things here and processes is going on and now you can see yeah so here I successfully logged in or I successfully opened my default scratch org or this is our default org okay so here you can see here this is the org and now it's open now okay so it's taking some time don't worry now you can see this is successfully opened here right so how to use that component under my lwc uh, this lightning app builder or any page anywhere as you want like record page app page home page something like that so how to use that so if you don't know about these all things so first of all you have to use that app launcher here okay so just click this app launcher and search any object as you want like let's say it's a contact let me choose like contacts just click this contact once you click this contact here right so just uh, open any contact as you want so let me open any contact as i have okay so let me open that contact here you can see like andy young so just click this one this is a contact okay and just open this contact here so i already enabled that uh, mode here that is called uh, enable debug mode okay so you can enable based on your need right so just click this gear icon here right and you can see like edit object edit page so first of all you have to click this edit page because i need that component here right so just edit this page and after some time you can see here uh, this is lightning app builder page lightning app builder page here okay so you will be see soon here so now you can see my lightning app uh, app builder page here okay it's open now and here you can see uh, that is called pdf download this is our custom component right so this is a like pdf download you can see this is a pdf component here okay pdf download component so you have to drag and drop in particular places as you want okay so where you want to drag and drop based on your need so let me drag and drop this here to here and after that you can see it's automatic showing one button here right so how to show that button so after that you can see here 
one process is going on that is called loading of the component okay and now finally you can see my button that is called this is the title pdf download and now download web page okay so just you have to click on this save button once you saved it okay so you will be see some message here that is called changes saved right just go back here okay once you go back again you you can see under this record one button in the top right top corner and just just you have to click that button and you can see my pdf will be downloaded soon okay so here you can see like download pdf download download web page so here you can see this is a web page right you know very well so how to download this web page whole web page so you can download with the help of this button that is called download web page just click this download web page and here you can see it's showing me that is called this one this is the our web page here you can see okay this one related to this one and all the things right so how to download this one again you have to click on the print and where you want to show or where we want to uh, save this page so you can save under the desktop or anything as you want like there's a desktop or maybe documents let's say say one two three right just save it click on this detail first of all because i need only details also you can download like details like this and click on this download web page and now you can see this all uh, web page is automatic download with the help of this button that is called download web page so just click this download web page and here you have to download you can see all the details regarding my this web page right here you can see so just click on the print and you can save anywhere as you want let's say uh, two three four something like that save it so it's automatic save let me open that pdf here now you can see this pdf here it's loading here and now this is my pdf name that is called 23434 and now you can see my web page related to my contact object or contact records here you can see all the things here and this is the record owner everything you can see here in this web page right like this this one this one all the things you can see in a single page so this is the way to download your web page as a pdf via lwc so guys i hope you learn something new uh, in this session so please subscribe my youtube channel salesperson okay till then bye bye take care